Born in Limerick but now based in Thomastown, County Kilkenny, Karen Morgan is an award-winning designer of contemporary porcelain ceramics who's looking for an investment of €40,000. In exchange for this money, Karen is offering 20% of her company. Hello Dragons. My name is Karen Morgan. I'm a ceramic designer and maker. I established my business, Karen Morgan Ceramics, in August 2007 when I set up a cooperative studio and gallery with two other potters uh, by the name of Earthworks in Thomastown, County Kilkenny. My work has received a number of awards for its design, innovation and craftsmanship. It's uh, unique in its style and quality in that I take sculptural elements and functionality and create products for everyday use, which are beautiful pieces yet in their own right. Sorry, can I start? Take your time, Karen. Sorry. <laughs> um, I have a highly commercial product, but I am in a very small studio and I cannot make enough work to meet the demands. I am looking for a 40,000 euros investment to expand and market my business uh, and in return for 20% equity. Craft-based companies can sometimes get a lukewarm response in the den, but Niall has invested in them in the past and is clearly impressed by Karen's designs. Karen, I, I'm, I'm Niall. <clears throat> Hi, Niall. Congratulations. Thanks. It's great. It's lovely. It's beautiful. Very refreshing. Tell me a little. A li tell us a little bit about your business. Well, at the moment, I'm in. A, it's a reasonably, reasonably sized studio, but I have two others working with me, so we share the. It's like a communal studio, <clears throat> so we share equipment also, and we also have a retail outlet there as well. Um, so I can produce only so much at the moment. It, for me, when I left uh, my studies, I didn't have the funding to uh, jump into a big studio on my own. Uh, so it was a good opportunity to come together. We could afford to get things up and running. But now I'm at the stage where the work is in demand and I need to uh, get a larger studio. Just give us some of the costings on your products and your margin. Okay. Um, so say the costings, for example, for that uh, particular vase at the moment, with my production methods, about 20 euros to make. I'd wholesale it for 50 and it retails uh, for 125 with ceramics, it's, uh, it's the time to make the product that is the most expensive thing. Um, so if I can introduce uh, some casting methods along with my own throwing production, um, I'll be able to employ people as well to help me with other aspects that might not need the skilled hands. Karen's numbers will have to add up if she wants to win an investment. But for now, Kilkenny man Bobby Kerr wants to focus on the designer's production setup. Hello, Karen. Hi. My name is Bobby. Hi, Bobby. Uh, you're working in South Kilkenny in Thomastown, mm -hmm. yeah? Yep. And the other two people that are in the uh, in the studio with you, mm -hmm. do they have their own brand? And you just they do. you okay? Yeah, yeah. So, what's the basis of the arrangement with the other two potters? So we're all sole traders, and right. basically what we do is just split the shares of the rents and the running costs for the studio, and it's quite good as well in the sense that uh, we've taken part in fairs under the Earthworks umbrella. Um, so it's just been a good opportunity for us all to kind of pool our resources together. And, get and would there. their style be very different to yours? It would, yeah. Right. Karen, I'm Sarah. Hi. Hi, Sarah. Um, let's, let's talk about sales. What were your sales, your retail sales in 2009? My turnover? Sales, turnover, yeah. uh, Just under €35,000. Okay. And if you get my 40,000 euro. Yeah. What are you going to invest it in? Um, I'd like to invest it in uh, moving to a larger studio. With in, in Thomastown or? Uh, yeah, in Tom well, ideally I would like to probably be in a high street in Kilkenny. Um, so if I could do, afford to do that, I would, because I would have the footfall, a lot more footfall, because I, I definitely want to have a studio set up with a retail outlet. Um, I think it's, I mean, my markup is, is full markup then on, on the products I make, so. Um, so I would use about 20,000 for setting up this studio, maybe helping with the first year's rent uh, payment and also getting the necessary equipment I need to uh, start casting some of the pieces. And the other 20,000 20, I would like to use for an e-commerce website, um, marketing, packaging. Karen seems to have a clear vision for the future of her company. 
But before he gives her 40,000 euro, Gavin Duffy has a few questions to ask. Karen, of the various pieces that you have here today, yeah. um, which one do you consider is uh, your signature piece? Um, at the moment, my bestseller would be the, I call them folding vases. And also the servant dishes, I won an award for those also. So they would be the key pieces that I would be recognised for. All right. Um, and how did you come across the concept for the vases or, or, or the dishes or, or even this, uh, you know, um, gravy boat of sorts, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll call it, in a sense that it, it's, it's very cleverly designed almost as a reject. You, know, you're, yeah. you're, you're folded yeah. your, 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 your vases. Um, is that... A, is that are there others doing that in the ceramics business, or is that...? Um, I think my style is quite unique. Um, I suppose from an artistic point of view, I am trying to express kind of a sense of movement and, and flow, and that's where the sculptural kind of form comes into it. There's always a, a dichotomy with craftspeople that you get somebody who's very good at design and at the craft making, mm -hmm. and then you've got the other side, which is the commercial reality of selling it and creating yeah. a business. It's definitely been a struggle, I mean... Sure. Do you feel that there's a gap in your knowledge and, and experience in terms of the business sense, and how do you plan to plug that gap? Well, this is why I'm here. I'm, I'm you know, I'm hoping that I can get some business mentorship, mentoring uh, for money to, to bring to that level, um, where my skills, I, my knowledge wouldn't be huge. I, I haven't spent the last 13 years uh, working as in business studies. I, I've been working as a you know a creative designer so well Karen your designs are very very attractive um, unfortunately I don't have any designs on on this business uh, okay. I, I don't see it um, making a return on the investment I would make and the time I'd give to it so for that reason I imagine okay. thank you so Gavin bows out with a trademark pun he may not have had designs on Karen's business, but it remains to be seen whether any of his fellow dragons want to help shape her future. Uh, I want to say that I think you're an exciting designer. I love okay. what you do. I'm delighted to see that you're part of an expanding Irish-based craft sector. My feeling is that this is probably a five to ten year climb to become scalable, mm -hmm. um, during which time I think it's going to be a lifestyle business. Um, um, and not one that I would see huge return from an investor's point of view. So I'm going to declare myself out. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you where I am at. Um, I think it as well, it's, it's, this is going to be a tough slog to get to where you need to go. And I, I think that rather than someone like me coming in, that you'd be better off getting somebody who's production-led and who would look after all that production stuff and you design away. But I just don't think for an investor that there'd be any chance of making any money. Okay. So for that reason, I'm out. No problem. Karen, I'll tell you where I am. Yeah. I, 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 I like very much what you do and genuinely um, your work is very, very beautiful. Thanks. Um, but I guess I'm a kind of like build it cheap and stack it high kind of a girl. Okay. <laughs> and, um, and, and so for that reason, I don't think that we would work well together. So thank Good. you very much. Thanks. Uh, but, but I'm out. Okay. Thank you. So now Karen's only hope of investment lies with the last remaining dragon. The suspense is difficult to bear, especially for Niall. I don't know what's going to come out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Something positive, hopefully. <laughs> we, we have a fair idea. <laughs> What are you going to do with the 40,000? I'm saying about 12 to 15 for the equipment and then I maybe would like um, some money to go towards the renting of the premises uh, as well. I don't want to give any money for rent. Okay. At all. Oh, fair enough. Walk in the back of a black tie shop <laughs> in Kilkenny. And the rest would be marketing. I'm really feeling that you're going to be requiring more than the 40,000 in terms of, you're going to be looking for me. Karen, I'm what I'm going to do is I'm going to value that. I'm going to look for 50% of the business and I'm going to give you the full 40,000. Okay. Do you want to have a think about that? My only worry would be with 50-50, well, I suppose it's 50-50, yeah. I, I just, I don't want to be in a situation where I don't have control of, you know, where the product is going to be made, you know. I, or, you know I, I, 
having sure, that control yeah, over the business. Yeah, so. and, and, yeah I suppose, and I, I just want to make sure that it's not, um, that, you know, that we can bring this forward. Yeah. You know, it's into commercial enterprise. Yeah. It's beautiful. Yeah. And you're a great girl, and I yeah. trust you. Yeah. And that has to be two way. Okay. I might just have a little think Absolutely. about it, sorry. Well, you walk, walk down the, the, the back there, you can take your time there. Karen entered the den planning to give away 20% of her company, but is now being asked for half of it. It's a potentially life-changing moment for the young woman, and she knows it. Um, this is a really unbelievably, to, to, you know, the pressure to make this decision. Um, I really, this is really my dream and I really want to see it happen. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Great. Yeah. You're happy with that? Yeah. Good. I'm Well, I'm slightly terrified. But <laughs> <laughs> and so a shaky Karen leaves the den, having gained a new business partner, while Niall accepts the congratulations of his fellow dragons. Well done. Uh, go, good luck with it. I was sure that was a Bobby Karen investment because of the Kilkenny connection. Yeah. But I can see the fit with buttons. And, yeah. Uh, well done. But I think you, you, you're... It's, it's going to be hard to get the money back, but you're obviously going to give it a, bit, a good bit of time as well. Yeah, I'm happy to give the time to it, and uh, I think that it will it will work. It's probably a slow burner, but um, now no, you, no. I can see Niall O'Farrell Craft Enterprises. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> well, Karen, you've got your investment. Are you still terrified? Um, yeah, <laughs> I, I, you know, a decision I have to make uh, under pressure, it's really difficult, but um, I'm absolutely delighted. I got, it was more than I expected, to be honest with you, and to have Niall on board to help me push the business side of things, I just, I think it's on a winner, so I'm absolutely thrilled. You had to give away a bigger slice yeah. of the company than you'd originally planned. How tough was that, a decision to make? It was very hard, especially to, to make it on the spot like that, but, um, you know, I feel that, you know, the way, you know, if Niall is willing to put that much time and invest in it, that, you know, I can be the creative drive in the business and he can help me and mentor me in the business side, then, you know, I, I'm happy to, to do that. You know, it's a partnership and, you know, it'll go forward. Well, I'm delighted you got an investment. Well done. Okay, thank you. <laughs>